guys and welcome to another video by Trill and Vegan and Frodo. We're filming again outside. Hopefully you can hear me pretty well. It's somewhat windy but still nice and sunny and warm in Brisbane, which is incredible really because it's winter and it's such a good weather. So the question I get asked a lot is don't you get bored on your long rides? Because you go for like hours and hours at a time on a bike. You can go for 10, sometimes 12 hours just riding along don't you get bored what do you do some people get bored after riding for one hour that's not me I enjoy the sport I enjoy the hills the scenery it keeps me engaged and I find it really fun which is how I find motivation to go for a ride really easy but if you are one of these people and you still want to take up riding and you want to figure out how to make it more fun or even if you're jogging or whatever sport you're doing that takes quite a bit of time like here is a little quick video of things that I have found helpful and useful and what you can do and entertain yourself with on the way so something that I enjoy doing is meditating and kind of thinking about different things on my mind like it just happens naturally you can't even control it because you just start thinking about things that like bother you or some dramas or whatever like has gone through and you haven't had time to think about in your daily life but when you're riding on a bike and there's no one around but the trees and you know all that stuff the nature you just automatically think about everything that happens and you kind of explain things to yourself um, but definitely listening to music um, that helps a lot of people and makes exercise much more fun and interesting and in fact it is a proven it's like scientifically proven research has been done on it that when you listen to music your athletic performance improves and you know you run faster and or you ride faster you're able to do more output so that is definitely something that's helpful another thing that's good is a podcast podcast is something very very awesome and something i discovered last year actually i started listening to podcasts because i was running for a marathon and that was very very helpful i would just listen to podcasts or for hours on ends some of my favorite ones would be just the one that i was listening to was called interfaith voices and i was listening to heaps and i was listening to some vegan kind of education ones as well just to do with nutrition and things like that so go like if you're on iphone there's like an app for podcasts and i'm sure they're the same on android that you can find and you can just listen to lots and lots of podcasts and educate yourself about different things so and it's free again so another thing that i love doing is listening at all slash reading audiobooks that's very very helpful on my recent tour i was reading steve jobs autobiography and i think there's not alan walker but like there was a really good podcast that i was listening to as well just about like spirituality and mindfulness and things like that but listening to books i also recently re read slash listened to a lot of the flies and that was an interesting book to kind of cover and that was a little bit brutal for me i found that a bit like outrageous at times but whatever they make kids read it why not that's a good idea uh, but i find that a very interesting and that way as well you can kind of kill like do things two things at once right you're reading the book and you're writing and keeping it fun so that's very very helpful sometimes youtube on youtube you can find lots and lots of different audiobooks i even found russian audiobooks on youtube so you can definitely download the video if the website that you're using doesn't let you download long clips like long mp3s um, download the video itself through keep a vid i think there's a ton of websites like that out there and then convert that video into um, an mp3 format and in fact what i have found that it is better to keep your audiobooks on your phone like on your smartphone instead of on your mp3 player unless you have a really fancy flash mp3 player but the mp3 player i have i'm happy with it and i love it and I, it's really like brand new but i didn't think about it before that i can't really skip like three hours into the track and that's how like audiobooks usually like seven hours seven hours long or five hours long right so it is much better to keep your audiobooks 
on your cell phone, like on your smartphone, so then you can actually like do a touch screen and skip it to the right chapter. Uh, all right, another thing that I often like to do is give people a call, like just calling, but you do need to have like good headset to be able to do that. So without like the noise, so, like I can't use my Bluetooth headphones when I do that, but I can use, you know, those headphones that come with iPhones, for example, right? Just ones that have a mic and, you know, the headset. Yep, so definitely calling people is actually not a bad idea because again, you're doing kind of two things at once and you're also just, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot more fun and you're getting a lot more done as well. But whatever you do, whatever you're listening to, make sure that you're always paying attention to the road, you're aware of what's happening, you're aware of the traffic, you know, what's going on, you're watching out for potholes, dead animals that are, you know, roadkill on the road or like brunches or whatever. Just really be aware of your surroundings. Don't just like zone out. Um, so another thing that is very helpful and is very, very good to do is actually having those conversations with yourself, as I said before, just meditating and kind of almost, I don't know if it's the right phrase for here, but like putting a duck, getting your ducks in the row, calming your mind down, finding that center and just chilling out, enjoying the ride. This world is so beautiful, like the rides that I've been going for, that I've been just enjoying the nature. It's been so interesting and entertaining to me on its own. And I sometimes I enjoy just listening to the nature without anything in my ears, really, <laughs> because it's beautiful and it's calming. And living in the city, you really don't get much of it sometimes. So that's definitely like a treat, almost. And another thing I'll give you is go on, you, on Facebook and go to all those, uh, join the groups, cycling groups, as most of you have. And there's often people asking questions about audiobooks and new music that you can listen to on your long rides. So like bookmark those posts with those questions because lots of people usually comment on the thread. Um, yeah, and then you can get like new ideas and you can think about new books to listen to and new music to discover. Oh, and listen to radio, <laughs> I didn't say that because like, unless you download the music and download the audiobooks and download the podcast at home like that will take your data and if you don't want to use data you can well obviously download them at home and put them on your phone or transfer them onto mp3 you can also listen to radio and radio is actually really helpful because you can just kind of skip to like radio station in the area and that was actually the reason why i bought my mp3 player because i wanted to have radio access as well as a larger memory because my phone at the time didn't have big enough memory but yeah anyways um comment down below kind of write down your favorite music books uh, audiobooks podcasts and things like that to listen on long rides your inspirational speakers that you love listening to and i better get going and do the things i need to do today and um thanks for being again on my channel Awesome seeing you here again. Hope you're having a wonderful day and going for a ride. Remember to stop counting calories, start counting hills, count your adventures and passions. And see you again soon. Bye.